The latest supercomputer that we purchased uh, can do 40 trillion math operations per second. You can picture this as 856 machines that had to be connected together to work as one big machine. 6,800 processor cores, 850 hard disks, 3,500 memory chips, 2,500 network connections. And each of these cable is carrying 20 gigabits per second. So let's say that's five DVDs worth of data in one second is zipping by these wires. And you have to make sure that all of these components connected together work in concert. I work on uh, data acquisition and control systems. I work on the, the hardware, software, and firmware for these systems. It's when the particles hit and they explode, they need to detect all these pieces that are flying out and where they're going and try to make tracks of where the particles are going. It's a 3D uh, software using OpenGL and helps us visualize where the data is and where the tracks are, uh, where the particles actually pass through our planes. It's kind of fulfilling to see something come from scratch where it's just from your imagination and it's actually turning into a complete project. Right now we are trying to build the infrastructure here to support Max, so we are trying to centralize all the Macs in-house and that's a very huge project. That includes trying to set up um, applications, rewrite applications that the user from a lab for the Macs, you know, authentication and access, making access easier. This site is huge and the things that are available for you to do, there's a whole lot. Research done at Fermilab is of a collaborative nature where people from different national origins and cultures work together for a common goal. You could be doing everything from setting up computers to writing applications to installing software to building servers. You know, it's, it's very broad. There's something new to do every day. So there's never been a morning where I, I wake up and I dread going into work. New ideas are welcome and appreciated and, you know, and the management makes sure that ideas that benefit the mission of the lab, uh, you are allowed to execute upon them. People are very open to research opportunities and things that, you know, where there's a, a chance of failure, even a high chance of failure and they're still receptive to these ideas. It's, it's a wonderful time for, to be in this field right now because uh, hardware is at a point where uh, it's really cheap to build a supercomputer. It's amazing how everybody's ready to, ready to go and excited about the project. At the end of the day, I feel very proud working at, at Fermilab.